why narcissists try to humiliate you. Why narcissists try to make you feel ashamed and foolish by injuring your dignity and pride. Why they want to embarrass you. Why they want to cause you to feel awkward, self-conscious or ashamed. Why they want to make your life difficult or complicated. Why they want to cause financial difficulties to you. Why they want to reduce you to a lower position in their own eyes or other people's eyes. The narcissist enjoys humiliating you. It gives them great pleasure and satisfaction. We all deserve love and respect. But the narcissist has to think that you don't deserve love. They have to think that you don't deserve respect. They have to see it as though you deserve to be humiliated. We all make faults and mistakes. We all do things that we're not proud of. And that's okay. It helps us to grow and learn more about ourselves. It helps us to become better people. We can all think of something we did that we feel guilty about. We can all think of something that we might regret. We make a fault or mistake. And then we realize what we've done wrong. We learn from it. And then we get to move on. You can forgive yourself and other people will forgive you and then you can learn from it and move on. But your guilt and shame is very important to the narcissist. It's important for them to have positions where people are arranged according to their status or power. When they do something wrong, they don't want to own it. They don't want to learn from it. Because they see it as though if they do anything wrong, they're going to feel humiliation and distress. It may even put their image and reputation at risk. So they try to find ways around that. And they usually do this by finding people who they can put beneath them. People who they can devalue and degrade. They want to make you feel down. So they can lift themselves up at your expense. Because deep down they feel worthless and insignificant. They feel inadequate. And while many of them may not realize why they do what they do, this is why they do it. Narcissists are very weak and insecure. They are unable to decide between opposing feelings and views. 
they are very afraid. They are worried that something undesirable will occur or be done. And that is why they want to take the initiative in deciding what should be done. That is why they want to be in an authoritative position. They are shame-based individuals doing everything they can to dodge the shame. They are doing everything they can to avoid losing their social position. Which is why they will often elevate their position at your expense. They will humiliate you. They will throw their mud on you. They will publicly say false or bad things about you in order to harm your reputation, in order to injure your dignity and pride. They're trying to take away your self-respect. They're trying to take away your pride and confidence in yourself. They're trying to take away your ability, influence and power. If you have been around a narcissist long enough, you will have experienced their attempts to shame you. They have to put people beneath them. They have to elevate themselves at your expense. And they will often turn it into a public display as an example of bad behavior, as an example of what not to do. They want other people to know about your imperfections or deficiencies. Even though it may be a false or misleading representation, that's all a part of the humiliation. They want to publicly expose what they think should be your painful feelings of humiliation and distress. Your wrong or foolish behaviour. The narcissist will dominate you through the use of humiliation to give them power and influence over you. They can be offensively impolite and bad mannered. They can have a startling abruptness. They will treat you with disrespect as though you are so worthless or contemptible that it is offensive. They will stare at you in an angry or fierce way. They will ignore your feelings and needs as though you are beneath their consideration or they will act as though you don't even exist. They will withhold their help and assistance. They will refrain from t- treating you in a polite, respectful or considerate manner. They will mock your likes and interests and your individuality. They will give unfair preferential assistance to other people at your expense. They will persistently avoid, ignore or reject you in public. They won't want other people to think highly of you. But if you were to ask them, they wouldn't admit that they tried to humiliate you. They would say that you brought it on yourself. They refuse to take accountability for what they're doing. They just want to flip the script on you and make it your problem. They have to show an attitude of superiority and contempt for what they perceive to be inferior. They can be unreasonably proud and unfriendly. They feel the need to behave in this way because they lack emotional strength and spirit. They feel overpowered and overwhelmed with life. 
they feel inadequate. When the narcissist is trying to humiliate you, it's abuse. They are trying to traumatize you. And they are fully aware of what they are doing. They do this to keep you down. To keep you beneath them. It allows them to have influence and authority over you. It gives them the ability to control you. To direct and influence your behavior and the course of events. When they are trying to humiliate you, they're trying to exclude you from a society or group. They want to isolate you. They want you to remain alone or apart from other people. They want to become your only influence so that they are more able to control you. So that they can elevate themselves at your expense. So that they can compensate for their feelings of inadequacy. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.